Of all the soldiers fighting for the Union in the Civil War, there were likely none with as much dedication and valor as William H. Kearney. Kearney was born February 29, 1849, in Norfolk, Virginia. He was born a slave and freed after his father escaped through the Underground Railroad and bought his freedom. Kearney was going to become a minister. However, when he heard the army was recruiting black troops, he abandoned this pursuit and volunteered to serve his country. <clears throat> On February 17, 1863, he became a member of an all-black militia unit, which would later be known as the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, led by Colonel Robert Gold Shaw. On July 18, 1863, the 54th Massachusetts would lead the federal assault on Fort Wagner, and Kearney's heroic actions during the battle would go down in history, as well as earning him a promotion to sergeant and the U.S. Army's most prestigious award. During the battle, the regiment would have to move through a small expanse of sand on the east side of the fort. The 54th sought refuge in a sand dune roughly 1,000 yards from the fort, where they waited until nightfall whilst naval artillery bombed the stronghold throughout the day. When the regiment began its attack, it was immediately hit with barrages of canister, musketry, and shelling. When the 54th color sergeant was shot down, Kearney dropped his musket, grabbed the flag, and made his way to the front of the ranks. He soon found himself alone by the fort wall. <clears throat> to his right were the other Union regiments, and to his left were a large force of encroaching Confederates. Kearney wound the colors up and moved along a ditch waist deep in water. Practically alone, surrounded by his fallen comrades and pinned down under enemy fire, he decided to make a break for friendly lines. As he ran, he was shot twice in the body, yet continued onward until he was met by a Union soldier from the 100th New York, and yet another bullet grazed his arm. The soldier told Kearney he would take the flag, Yet, Kearney refused, stating, a member of the 54th Regiment must be the one to carry it in battle. As the two men made their way to safety, Kearney was hit with yet a fourth bullet that grazed his head. When Kearney finally made it back behind Union forces, he said, boys, the old flag never touched the ground before collapsing. After his service in Fort Wagner, Kearney became the first ever American, African American to win the Medal of Honor. The 54th's bravery in the battle inspired thousands of African Americans to join the fight and helped turn the tide of the war. Kearney was discharged for his injuries roughly a year after his service in Fort Wagner and later married Susanna Williams. He worked multiple jobs before he died in 1908 after complications in an elevator accident. 